Thank you. Hello. Harold, I'm, I'm, a bit, I'm a bit perplexed. What's the problem? Well, they didn't have my favorite senior event oh. included in the games. You, you, you did, they did know about it, but they didn't get it on the agenda. Well, no, and I mean, I mean, the problem is, is that seniors are the only people that have ever practiced this event. Oh, oh. And, and I mean, I, I would have liked to do an event, but there's no facilities. Oh, oh. I'll, well, I'll tell you about it a little tell bit. Tell us about it. Tell us about it. You see, my dad recalls an evening back when he was a lad on the night when tricks or treats are played, a story about his dad. Now, it seems that every Halloween, the favorite trick to play was to push to the outhouse over and then quickly run away. <laughs> and in the morning, you'd awake and go outdoors to find repose. <laughs> but instead of finding your relief, you'd find the outhouse on its nose. <laughs> so on the afternoon before that hallowed night, my dad and grandpa moved their John ahead and to the right. <laughs> now, this causes quite a problem if it's fairly dark outdoors and you're sprinting towards the outhouse to push the whole thing over. And that must have been what happened to those fellers as they dashed, fleet-footed and so silent. Then that terrible, awful splash. <laughs> well, with that, the silence ended as inside Dad and Grandpa laughed as outside they voiced their disapproval to their unexpected bath. Now, from this there came a proverb, if I can just remember it. Oh, yes. Be very sure your way's well lit, or the trick will be getting out of the pit. <laughs> Thank you.